Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today's video is going to be a grocery haul. Now in case you don't know, my grocery hauls are going to be keto, low carb, and diabetic friendly with a sprinkling of some non-keto related foods in here because I do have family that's not doing keto. I don't just go to one grocery store a week. I go to multiple. I and what you call a grocery store hopper. So I go to Publix, Fresh Market, Walmart, Aldi. We even have a discount grocery store here called United Grocery Outlets. So my grocery store hauls aren't normally just from one store. You'll see several different ones throughout this video. This is something I've been doing since I was a young child. I remember going to my grandparents' house on the weekends. We would go to like a dozen different grocery stores they were trying to save money i'm looking for keto friendly items so make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell if you're interested in low carb if you're interested in keto i'd love to have you over here as a part of my youtube family follow me on instagram and check that description box below that's where you'll find the facebook group linked it's called all things keto with christy you're gonna love it over there promise you. And while you're in that description box, make sure you check out some of the discounts. There'll be some codes down there to save you some money on some of your favorite keto items. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with today's grocery haul. Let's go over the Walmart haul really quickly. I only needed a few things this week and it's a good thing because the majority of the items that we went to pick up, they only had one of. My store is experiencing a lot of shortages still, but over in the pharmacy section where they keep a lot of the slim fast fat bombs protein powders and stuff like that you need to go check that area out because they have a lot of new keto friendly items over there you might want to look into this was one of those it is keto popcorn 80 calories low sugar they had the caramel and they also had this in cheddar it's by Real Ketones, 80 calories a serving. You've got six fat, eight carbs, three fiber, and one protein. There's the ingredients if you want to check it out. It is gonna have sucralose in it, chicory root extract. You do have popcorn, but it is going to be a low carb option to pop for it. Now, this was not cheap. It was around $2 and I think 96 cents. Honestly, I'm not even sure. It'll probably spike my blood glucose being a type one, but Chris could check it out for us and test it. Picked up two of the strawberry keto ratio yogurts. I love these. They are extremely thick, very low carb. There's only two net carbs in here and there's 15 protein and 15 fat. I love a thick consistency when it comes to my yogurt. So if you're the same way, you need to check these out. Great value, unsweetened almond milk in the vanilla. <laughs> now, if you watched my Costco haul from, I think last month, I bought like a 12 pack of the unsweetened almond milk in the original, but I like the vanilla better, so I picked up one of these. We'll use the unsweetened original from Costco in Keto Chow and stuff like that, but for my coffees and recipes, I definitely want this one. Just remember, if you do pick up any of the almond milks, the containers all pretty much look the same. You wanna make sure it says unsweetened. You didn't think I was going to go to Walmart and not pick up cheese. I picked up a two pound bag, which is eight cups of mozzarella shredded cheese. This is so I can make some of the stuffed bagel bombs. Absolutely adore those. I'm going to link that for you in the cards and down in the description box. If you have not made that recipe, you do not know what you're missing. You've got to try it because there's so many different things that you're going to be able to do. Chris also wanted some pepper jack cheese. He just cuts this up into cubes and snacks on it. This is the one pound. Speaking of shortages, I should have stocked up on the Vital Farms eggs when I found them last time because now they are no longer in existence at my store. This is the market side 12 large cage free brown eggs. Hopefully they'll have the Vital Farms back in soon because they're our favorite. They only had one bag of the Green Giant Riced Veggies Cauliflower Risotto Medley. Now I have mentioned this a billion times in the past. I'm not a huge cauliflower fan, but this does not have a cauliflower taste. I steam it in the bag and then I normally put it in a pan with some heavy cream, Parmesan cheese, and garlic, and a little bit of butter, and make a risotto out of it. So it's a thicker Alfredo consistency. Absolutely delicious. You guys have to try it. I know, more pickles. 
but there's a recipe I found on TikTok that I want to try with these. So I needed some of the hamburger dill chip pickles. If you watch the TikTok recipe videos that I show on my channel and you like those, then next time you're at the store, go ahead and pick up some of the hamburger deal because there's a recipe coming up really soon with this. If you've not watched it, there's an entire playlist. You need to go check it out because there are some amazing recipes over on TikTok. And I know a lot of you don't have TikTok, so I'm bringing them to you over here on YouTube. Needed peanut butter because we were out. Chris likes the Smuckers, so we got that. It is the natural peanut butter in the creamy. They also have it in the crunchy we picked up the largest one they had one of you guys told me where the oil is on the top i need to be storing this upside down so that's what we're gonna do but make sure your lid's on there tight there's nothing bad added into this one no sugars or anything like that this is the one you want to pick up if you are going to get some peanut butter there are a few others like crazy richard walmart used to have a brand that had no sugar added but at my store now their natural peanut butter does have sugar in it so if you had been buying that one like i had in the past you might want to read your labels. Got another package of pepperoni because my go-to meal lately has been pizza bowls. That's basically just all of your ingredients that normally go on a pizza in a bowl or in something like this and then throw it in your air fryer just to melt all that cheese or you can put it in your microwave. Also needed some white vinegar. Just went ahead and picked up the Great Value brand. Briley needed some cream cheese. She likes the whipped spread. Just know that it is going to have more carbs in it than the Philadelphia cream cheese if you go with a block. Also went ahead and got another one of these. Even though we have two, I always pick up one every single time I go. Great value, sugar-free, whipped, heavy cream. I do not want to run out of this ever. So just in case there ever was a shortage of this, I have three backups. Foil mini loaf pans. This was a set of five of them. These fit in the air fryer perfectly. Actually, you could fit several of them in there if you wanted to do like individual meals. If you want to do like a pizza bowl, put it all in there. Maybe do a little enchilada. But these are the mini. Now, they didn't have the normal size that I usually get, the bread pan loaves. And they did not have the smaller version that I normally get either. Either. So went ahead and got these just to have them. One heavy whipping cream. We were almost out. Picked up a tenderloin to have this week. This one is the Smithfield Premium Pork. It was $10. You guys already know the price of all meat has went up significantly along with everything else. But I thought this would be something to go ahead and meal prep and have. Just put it in a crock pot, put some seasoning, maybe some bone broth in there. Cook this up and we could eat on it for a couple of days. One just they had one jug of ready leaf no calorie sweet tea they have added sucralose Chris since he has been home has started to like teas like this not something that he normally drank but you guys know that I have been obsessed with tea for about two months at this point he has tried the Milo's which he was not a fan of I know some of you all are gonna be shocked but he does like the ready leaf they only have one so we went ahead and got that and then a bonus, look what they had. Found this as we were walking through the aisles. They had the faux crocs, the frocks, but they're the ones that are lined and they're only $12.98. So you know I had to go ahead and pick up those because I wear crocs everywhere, usually crocs and socks. But since these are lined, it's gonna keep your toes warm. That was everything from Walmart this week. Went by TJ Maxx this week, wanted to check to see if they had any of the Natural Heaven, and they did, but they only had one each of the new ones. So I picked up one of the Natural Heaven white rice and one of the creamy mash. Now you can order these off of their website or off of Amazon. I'll link them below. I've not tried either of those. We have tried the spaghetti. We've tried the angel hair pasta, the lasagna, and I've also tried the brown rice. I love every one of them. Now this is going to be made of hearts of palm. At my TJ Maxx, they run $3.99. If you pick them up off of the website or off of Amazon, they're about $7.99 unless you get the bundle pack and then you usually get a little bit better of a deal. Neither of these have any additional ingredients except for a preservative and sea salt, but somehow they've come up with a rice consistency and also a creamy mash. If you've tried the creamy mash, the faux mashed potatoes, let me know. Both of these are already fully cooked. They had some different Jordan skinny syrups. These are the ice cream collection. This is the Rocky Road. Zero everything on this one. Chris likes 
to add these to iced coffees and frappuccinos, even as hot coffee and keto chow and ice cream. This one isn't something that we see really often. So we went ahead and picked up one of those. And that's everything we picked up at TJ Maxx. Very small Publix haul this week. Picked up some blackened chicken. This is the only place I can find the Tyson's blackened chicken. And surprisingly enough, it has went down in price. Normally I pay $9.99 for it. Now that they have it back in stock, it's only $8.99. So I went ahead and picked up two of those. They also have in different flavors of the Keto Ratio yogurt than I've been able to find anywhere else. They actually have blueberry, peach, and they have the mixed berry. My favorite so far has been the peach, so I went ahead and picked up two more of those, and I went ahead and got one of the mixed berries to try that. The blueberry was good. I did eat it last time, but out of the two new flavors, peach and blueberry, peaches hands down the best. And the only place I can find the no sugar added sweet relish by Mount Olive is also going to be at Publix. So I went ahead and picked up one of those. We like to add this to chicken salad, tuna salad, ham salad, all of those things. Right there is your ingredients on it in case you want to check it out. Nothing bad added, but it is going to be sweetened with sucralose. That's everything I picked up at Publix. I have a very small haul from a little market that is about a 45 minute drive for me. It's called Troyer's. I think it's in Limestone, Tennessee. So in case any of you all are ever passing through, right there's their phone number and right there is their little logo. So they had some keto friendly items and they even had some sugar free baked goods. I was excited to find all of these flavorings. None of these are going to contain any sugar or dextrose, so they're not sweetened. They're just going to be flavorings. I picked up marshmallow, sugar cookie, coffee, rum, butter, and peanut butter but they had an entire shelf full of different types of extracts and flavorings. These were the only ones that I picked up. They were $2.29 a piece. And then I also picked up some of the hot garlic mushrooms. I adore mushrooms and so does Chris. And last thing I picked up was Wix Pies Ink. This is sugar-free glaze. This one is gonna be the sugar-free strawberry 16 ounce. Here's what it looks like on the back. So your nutritional facts, two tablespoons. It's gonna be 10 calories, zero fat, zero protein two total carbs. Right there is your ingredients. So what they're doing is sweetening this one with sucralose. Not like stellar amazing ingredients, but it doesn't have any dextrose, sugar, corn syrup, maltodextrin, or anything like that in it. So I'm curious to see if this is going to spike my blood glucose. Definitely something that's going to be low carb friendly. This was the only one that they had in the sugar free variety. Dollar seventy nine. Thought I'd give it a shot. Maybe put a little bit of this in those bagel bombs and make them a sweet sugar free strawberry filling on the inside and add some cream cheese to that. So that's all I picked up at Troyer's. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments, did you find anything new at your stores this week? There are lots of new items that are coming out or things that you could just normally order online are gonna be in grocery stores. So I'm super excited. It gives everybody the opportunity to get a hold of some keto low carb items. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great week. Bye.